Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 16 of Do Cakes Vivarium. I did a little off camera work. Uh, it's not quite finished yet, but I did a little organization of my inventory. So I have like all my ground stuffs, wood stuffs. Uh, that's my food here. Um, and then this is just kind of some random building items. And this is like all my ores and materials like that. And I should probably actually go ahead and cook some more of this food. Um, I think today we're going to run out and add on to the farm a little bit because food is important. Ah, oh, very nice. Everything has grown. It's beautiful. So we have one, two, three, four. So we will replicate that right here. One, two, three and four and whoops if I wasn't drowning technically I'm not drowning but if I wasn't sinking in the water it would work a little better I think probably should have grabbed some protection blocks but it's all right um yeah let's go ahead and turn this all into fertile soil so we can start growing some stuff here um, I'm probably gonna do I don't really know for sure what um, yeah. oh wait I do have a protection block oh huh. I don't remember from where that's all right um, just throw the dirt there, protection block there, and I believe we dig the dirt out, right? Yep. All right, so go ahead and harvest up some of this stuff. I've got a whole bunch of raspberries sitting in a chest already, which is good. Um, but I don't know offhand which animals use which foods for taming so I'm just gonna have a bunch of carrots and raspberries on hand so when I find something that takes those I have materials to tame them and then can display them in the zoo um, my slimes that I put into captivity into a cage last episode uh, I guess decided that they wanted to break out and somehow they hopped over the wall I don't know exactly how they did that but uh, I found them chilling out in the property uh, they had killed something because there was a chunk of meat sitting around so I just put them back into my inventory here and uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be putting those guys back into a cage um, until I put roofs on at least. I imagine with a roof they couldn't get out. Alright, so a little bit of food stuff taken care of there. Extra field for the garden. Let's go ahead and pop the carrots in. So as you can see, well I only have 10 carrots, I just use a bunch. Of, oh, I got 99 plus 10, okay. That's better. I got a bunch of wheat. Uh, leather backpack. I don't think has anything in it right now. Cotton is in one of these. Um, I didn't plant more cotton plants because, quite honestly, I don't think I need them. I did a little bit of work out and about in the in the yard here. Um, I kind of just threw some corners up. This will all be replaced with stone. And uh, basically, it's going to be a 2x2, two two, so it'll be four cages on that side, and then four on this side. So that'll give me eight cages there, plus we have perimeter. Uh, let's check the mailbox. Ooh, Nyan cats. A turtle. Oh, hey! I wanted a turtle. Diamond brick, raw pork chop, crystal block. I guess shift clicking does not take items out of the mailbox. Well, that's a shame. It's so much easier. And a book with text. 
and some paper. Paper I don't believe you can write on, so I'm not sure why somebody gave me one piece of paper. What do I need one piece of paper for? 54 lumps of iron. Wow. Well, let's see what this book says. You missed a spot. There is no sulfur on the server. It was the other yellow stuff you missed. Did I miss gold? No, there's no way I missed gold. It didn't look like gold. Unless was it maybe the crystals from the Ethereal map gen? I don't know. Um, well, we're going to go ahead and throw all of the ores and stuff in there. Uh, I'll go ahead and cook the chops. And I think I'm going to have to grab glass. Unless I'm mistaken, and I'm almost positive I'm not, the Nyan cat flies. Which, if that's the case, I don't want him flying away on me. Uh, we're going to grab some wood. I'm going to put that into the turtle's cage. I'd also like to... Oh, I don't know, maybe do some papyrus. And water. But I think the only bucket I have is full of lava right now. Do I want to dump lava out someplace? Probably not. I can't imagine that would be a good idea. However, I should have plenty of steel with which to make a new bucket. So we'll do that. Because the turtle needs some water in his cage. It's almost cruelty to animals if he doesn't have that. Okay, let's um, grab some water here. And we've got a cow in that. Here we go. Ah! I want to. Let me go in the store. Here we go. Okay, so let's dig a little hole right here. Put some water in that for Mr. Turtle. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put some papyrus around there. Ooh, you know what? That's actually a horrible idea. I need to rethink this idea. Okay, let's do a hole back here. People are going to be looking at the cage from the front side. So probably don't want to have papyrus sitting right there to block it. That would probably just not be nice. And then we'll throw some log out. Um... I don't know, where do we want to put a log? Maybe just running along the center for the turtle. And then we'll put the little guy out. Yay! All right, now for the Nyan cats. I think he's gonna go in that cage on the other side. I'm gonna need some obsidian glass for the front. I've got my ax on me. I'm going to need that because there's a tree growing in the center of that cage yet. Which I shall have to remove. I don't think... Yeah, there's no door yet either. It's okay, though. As I'm going to get a bunch of wood here. Alright. Obsidian glass for the front. Which, for some reason, seems like this is too big. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, that's right. And then normal glass for the sides. And while I'm at it, I might just go ahead and get that next cage all squared away, too. Because why not? I'm already here placing this stuff. Uh, let that die. Did I grab the glow glass? No, I didn't. And I only have 13 glass left, so I won't even have enough to finish this. But that's fine. It's not completed out with stone yet either, evidently. Alright. Gonna have to go on a quest for some more obsidian, it looks like. 
Oh. There's no door here. Well, that's a problem. Okay, well, it's not really a huge problem, but... Oh, I gotta get more glass because I need a top for that. The Nyan Cat flies. Um, I was actually on the server doing a little behind the scenes work when um, Duke K hopped on the server and there was actually there was two things but I'm not going to mention what the one was because I want to just show you guys that in the world when I stumble upon one but there was a, a new mob that has been added that I think you guys are really gonna like it's really really cool oh I don't do that I seen it and I was just like what in the world is this this is so epic and turns out it's a new mob from doomed so if you follow his excellent work um, you'll at least have somewhat of an idea of what it is. It didn't seem to be overly aggressive, so that was good. Um, but yeah, we'll see if we can't catch one here and get it on display sometime in the relatively near future. Okay, we got the door. I don't know what a Nyan cat would want as far as habitat goes. So... I guess he's just gonna get this and I should probably put dirt in the ground there okay oh, where's my Nyan cat egg Boop. and let's quick get out before he escapes and we'll take a look at him through the front window here um, why is there all of this oh cause there's a tree right here let's get rid of this tree real quick It'll be nice to actually get to see this guy. Oh, come on, you dumb leaves die. There we go. All right, so. We can't really tell what he is. There we go. Uh, it's pretty much a, a nine cat that floats around and leaves a trail of rainbow. So. That is pretty sweet. I'm wondering if I shouldn't do, like, name cards. On all of the windows you know like do a just right in the bottom left put a sign and just put out whatever name it is where's the turtle yeah you, you can just barely see the guy so cute okay I think that might wrap this episode up no, you know what? Let's get this finished. I'm going to finish... Well, with the exception of the obsidian glass that I don't have. I will... I have enough of that. Yeah, I definitely have enough of that. Um, let's grab... Ooh, I don't think that's going to be enough of these stone tiles. I'm going to have to go get more... Well, it's actually not a problem because I'll be going out when I grab more obsidian I will have to get a lot of stone mining that oh wait I want to keep that so that shouldn't be an issue though okay so I've got these I've got that uh do I have wood man I should really learn to read those signs the signs that I put out to tell you exactly what is in the chest Okay, I might put a little bit more of the pathway on the upper level. Okay, I thought I'd just seen something out there, but I guess not. Which is just as well. Okay, let's... Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Whoa, there is an Angela 90... 3 that has joined the server. I should quick check, quick check the chat. Okay. 
not trying to talk to me, which is good. Stranger danger, after all. Because we all follow that rule when we play games online. You know, I never chat to any strangers. I'm totally joking. You pretty much... Ah! Pretty much have to, honestly. Unless you're just not going to talk to anyone. Which, I guess there's no reason why you have to talk to people on online games. You could... Oh, no. You could totally just, uh, you know, keep to yourself and leave everybody else alone. I can't see any reason why that would be a problem. Okay, well, that will eventually be filled in with block. And that is finished. Let's take this protection block out of here and put a piece of glass there. All right, and then we want protection block there. Eventually, one will go there. Glow glass, glow glass. Yay! It's kind of finished. Finished enough for now. So we will wrap this episode up and pick up here next time and go mining again. Find all sorts of goodies buried in the depths of the earth. And yeah, maybe maybe we'll try our hand at capturing some some underground dwellers and bringing up some more monsters for this vivarium. So, catch you guys all next time. Thanks for watching my video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, would you consider giving it a thumbs up? I appreciate all those I can get. I'm on social media, peoples. Follow me. Google+, Twitter, Facebook. I always post all of my videos on those platforms, or links to my videos on those platforms, as soon as they go live. Which this means prior to the release on YouTube. You can watch them before anybody else. You can also visit my website, NathanSalpat.com, and see all my videos there. Really nice website, if I do say so myself. I did design it, so I might be a little bit biased, but I still think it's, it's decent. If there is a mod you would like me to review, just click on the Request a View button right there. Takes a two-form on my website. You just type in the information, hit the Submit button. I get it. I look at it. Record a review, post it online, you watch, we all profit, the world's a better place. Yeah, I don't know about that last bit, but hey, do it anyways, There's you got nothing to lose. I'll catch you next time.